Good morning, everyone. Time to get to work. I'm not at the store today, so gotta siphon out the rotting food there first thing this morning. Uh, probably do a little bit of extra water change, and then I'll figure out what else I gotta do. I know I spent the real early morning before I took a shower doing accounting work and uh, some website stuff, so yeah, let me go ahead and get started. All right, problem fixed. Now I'll change some extra water and I'll figure out what else I'm gonna do today. So I just got back from the hardware store, had to pick up some supplies. I went there intending to pick up much more, but I couldn't make up my mind, so maybe you guys could help make up my mind. Uh, I wanna start the project of kind of redoing this room. And uh, you know, I've got a lot of echo in here. You guys probably hear that through the, the camera right now. And, you know, these walls are kind of dirty and faded and not the best, like they reflect light, you know, so I've got light up above, you can see, and the color uh, just it reflects a lot and we catch a lot of glare into the tank, right? So I'm kind of wanting to optimize some of that, uh, you know, while I'm redoing it. And so I thought, well, maybe I just paint it a different color, you know, and then you know, part of me was then like, oh, maybe I just do more wood paneling, right? Like. If I could match the wood paneling I have over here, as you can see, uh, maybe that would look decent, you know, because it's, it's kind of a weird room. Like, we bought the house this way, um, and so it's got, like, this paneling right here. Like, it, I think there used to be a window there. Not on the outside, though. When you go to the outside, there's nothing, just, you know. So anyway, uh, and then over here, you know, we've got this, like, we've got drywall here, here, and the ceiling, right? Um, so, either A, I gotta paint all that, which I, I kind of went there going, okay, I'm gonna paint it. And then I knew I wanted to put something down on the floor to absorb some of the sound of just like tapping feet and stuff like that while we're doing the live streams. And, uh, you know, in general, like you can hear right now, this sump that's running, uh, it'll help deaden some of that sound and overall improve the look. Because right now my floor is terrible, right? It's like whatever, probably. 80s or 90s flooring or whatever was here when I got here so you know it's nothing nothing to write home about so then I was looking at just some carpeting tiles just something quick down and dirty easy that's going to absorb sound you know I don't really want to like install like underlayment mat or carpet I don't know I don't I can't think of what it's called I'm thinking in pawn terms like an underlayment mat but basically the foam you're going to put underneath the carpet and then carpet because if I spill water in here which I do uh, I don't want it to get caught in there. So like at the store, I have commercial grade carpet. It's just concrete, which that's what's under this little linoleum crap. Uh, it's concrete and then uh, carpet underneath that. I love it because it's non-slippy. It absorbs the sound, everything like that. So I was thinking possibly doing some stick down like commercial carpet tiles. And um, that might be, you know, like assuming I move this tank out and got everything out and did my painting or whatever, I think I could pull off laying that carpet down, you know, so let me say, I've never laid carpet. Uh, maybe I can pull that off in like four hours or something. I have no idea, right? Like it's either A, it's gonna take forever, or B, it's gonna be like, yeah, it took 20 minutes. Um, but then that led me down another rabbit hole of what if I put the carpet tile on the wall too, so that way it deadened the sound more and the ceiling. And then so I, you know, I'm on my phone in Lowe's Googling it. And some people are doing that for their home theaters and stuff. So I'm wondering if any of you guys have done that or have any experience. I realize it's crazy, but you know, I was basically gonna paint the walls either a dark gray or a black anyway. So they just completely blend out uh, anything. And then, you know, we gotta install the tank and all that. And then I can put stuff back on the walls, like maybe art pieces or something like that. So whether it's carpet tile that's absorbing some of that sound or paint, I don't think matters too much in terms of a look standpoint. Um, and I think it would go up relatively quick, but that being said, it's not made to go on a wall, it's made to go on the floor, and then for sure, like the ceiling might be a little weird, but um, you know, I could definitely get rid of all this kind of yellow tone, because it's like a, I don't know, it's not quite canary yellow or something, but back up here where the light comes in naturally from the window and then near the light it's definitely got some yellow in it and I think that just changes the overall color of the room so here's where I'm at so far I basically built the stand to hold the drip plate you know it's it's not a true drip plate but it basically is gonna pre-filter for me 
I think I'm gonna install it on this tank and we're gonna have the water come in through here. Now I've gotta put media in here obviously and that's what's gonna go down below and I have to fill or I have to figure out where and how I want the water to come out. So still working on that, but you know, stay tuned. We'll chime in, hopefully this thing actually running. Well, Taco Tuesday is done. Uh, so here's what I got done on the filter. Basically, we've got water running in. It's collecting waste for me. I feel like I could improve upon that a little better. That being said, I probably don't care. Uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do here is turn this into a fluidized bed filter. Uh, with the coldness media. The problem is I need to make uh, like an insert there, like a uh, something to keep the media from getting sucked down below, right? So I just haven't quite figured out the way I want to do that, so I haven't put any media in there yet. Um, so I'm just gonna do a lot of water changes on this thing until I figure that out. I mean, I, I guess maybe I'll put some temporary media. I'll steal some from another uh, bin and just make sure it's got media, but I do want to improve upon it, so I'm zoomed in. Dang it. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think what else I need to do. I'm going to feed fish. I know that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get that set up. I'm going to work on this a little more and then get that set up. So someone had asked how the one tank at a time tanks are going, so I'm kind of cluing in here. Here is the uh, African cichlid tank. You can see, you know, we, we don't have like crazy growth yet, but they're still planted. You know, and I, they are growing. Uh, you can see here, like, some of it's made all the way to the top at this point. There's a couple they dug up, you know. Uh, all the water sprite I put in here that I wanted them to eat, they haven't. They ate all the duckweed, at least, so that's good. Um, but I'm probably going to have to move. I probably need to remove this water sprite because it's going to start blocking light. But, you know, otherwise, the tank's been doing well. Auto feeder's getting low. Going to have to refill that soon. Um... You know, definitely disappointed in the quality of these labs. There's no doubt about that. Still got... She's probably ready to spit by now. But otherwise, you know, I think they're doing good. Yale Labs growing faster than Morai. That's... Oh, sorry, I zoomed in on accident there. Uh, Yale Labs growing faster than Morai. That's to be expected for the dolphin cichlid there. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, this tank, not show quality yet by any means, but the plants are growing in. And, uh, you know, that's, it takes time. That's the thing is what's going to happen. You're going to see it like doing nothing, doing nothing, doing nothing. And then be like, wow, this thing looks amazing because it all grows in. But we're waiting for that to happen still. And, uh, yeah, so let's check out, what can we check out next? We can check out the, uh, the molly tank, right? Yeah, so that was the next, you know, we wanted to update on that as well. So we'll walk over to there. That's what we've got right here. And uh, this tank's finally, I think, starting to come alive here. The, the fish are really starting to thrive, you know, so they're doing well. The plants have all, you know, finished converting. I do need to start, I, I probably need to put in a nerite or two. We're getting green spot algae on some of these crypts, as you can see here. Uh, so, you know, that'd be good. The shrimp are starting to reproduce. They just hitchhiked on with plants or they're either, maybe they were here when we started the tank, but, you know, they're definitely feeding and eating well you know they're full they're starting to put you know color on a little bit they still all I haven't really looked at that they still all present as female I'm hoping that one of these turns into a male soon because otherwise I just have like the biggest group of females ever what's he back there that's you know just another they all look female at the moment which I almost feel like they should be showing male and female by now for dang sure. So maybe I'll have to uh, write Greg and be like, hey, I need you to send me a for sure male because I got a problem here. I got all females, but we'll, we'll give us some more time. I'm patient. Uh, let's see, what else? Still no action out of these angelfish. I mean, they're, they're definitely acting. I don't want to walk over there yet, but they're cleaning the cone. So they're, you know, they're working on it. One of them has an ovipositor out. You know, my guess is, I was hoping I could get it today, but, you know, they're probably gonna wait till tomorrow while I'm at work and not filming here to do it, but at least I can still catch the, you know, the uh, the eggs and such afterwards. Um, I still desperately wanna breed these guys. These guys are looking better and better. I still need to, I wanna quarantine them some more, and that's, I just haven't moved them anywhere in quarantine them. That's, I think that's what I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna focus on, uh, kind of making more setups happen, getting things more done, 
and just polishing what I've got. You know, I, I know I always say that, and I end up building more stuff, but um, you know, I am polishing it slowly. There's, it's slowly getting better in some tanks, um, but I, you know, I do know that I want to do that because I want to enjoy those guys. I want to spawn them, that type of thing. And you know, this rack's built. I gotta put elbows in these tanks up here so that the water level rises and stuff like that. Um, but that's what I'm gonna work on. And you know, now that I shoot a video every day, um, you know, see what I can get fit into one episode. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? We got the brine shrimp. I'll show you guys what that looks like. We're gonna be feeding that out here in just a moment to all the small fish, at least. But I don't know if you guys can see that moving. But it's all live brine. Yeah, let me if I, if I zoom in there. You can see that it's all live brine shrimp. All the orange the live brine. I'm gonna drain it and feed it out. And uh, you know the fish are gonna go nuts for it. That's what they do. And it's just good food. And I love to put it in tanks where I think there could be spawning going on. And maybe like so, like the orange laser corridors, for instance. Every time I walk up, they hide. You can see them running. Um, but you know, all the eggs are pretty much hashed out by now. So if the babies are in there, they're gonna be feeding on kind of microorganisms throughout all of the spawning mops. But it, I think it helps when you put in, you know, live baby brine and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, yeah, so let me get the tripod set up and get to feeding. Time to feed the brine. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up feeding a little bit of the dry food and then I'm done for the night. So thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you tomorrow.